Sean Myers here of the Westmoreland Sports Network, joined by Dave Brzezinski, who was formerly the head coach for football at Norwin, but announced his resignation earlier this week. First off, Dave, I know that this had to be a, a decision that you put a lot of thought into. So what made now the right time for you to step away from this job? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, first and foremost, I've had the uh, privilege and opportunity to be head coach um, here at Norwin. Uh, for the last nine years and, and coached here for 26 years uh, of my 27 years of, of teaching. Uh, my first year out of college, I coached at Derry. Um, but the reason for now is just, uh, I think it's you know, time for a, a, a change in the program. We have a lot of uh, numbers in the, in the youth program and with our middle school program and younger levels uh, growing up with those. And um, I wanted to make the announcement at the uh, as soon as possible at the end of the season, because um, I want to see Norman football do well, and I want to make sure that the process of selecting the uh, next head coach is uh, one that is is done in a, t- in a timely manner, so that it does not put the kids in a situation where um, you know the program. The longer, obviously, that announcement takes uh, it takes for that announcement to come out, the longer it pushes everything back. And I don't want that. I don't want to see that have an effect for next school year or next season. Excuse me. Well, so talking about the timing, uh, when did you realize that this was going to be the end result? Is it something that you or the players knew heading into that final game against Hempfield? Um, you know, no, I mean, I mean, I, I, uh, you know, talk with my wife and everything. It's not like it was just a rash decision or anything. I mean, you, you, you put a ton, a ton of time and effort into uh, everything that you do. Um, and uh, everybody has, uh, you know, the, the, um, uh, the focus of whatever that game is that you had at, that, at hand. So, no, I did not say anything to the team prior to that. Um, you know, it was one of those things I wanted to make sure the focus of the team was on, you know, obviously, you know, the, the task at hand and everything. Uh, but at the end of every season, I do exit interviews. And, and the first thing before I do any of those exit interviews is I do a self-evaluation of you know, where, is, where am I as I'm looking at uh, the process. Because obviously every year as a head coach, you know, it's a one-year contract. And um, that being said, um, you know, in that process and you know, talk with my family, specifically my wife and myself, uh, making that decision and, and, and feeling confident with the decision to, to move on. I know it was a tough season for Norwin, the Knights winning just one game. Uh, when you think back, and I know that maybe this is something better suited to answer a few weeks removed from your final game, but immediately looking back on 2022, uh, where were the areas where, where maybe the team struggled most? Yeah, I mean, I think you can't uh, just pinpoint it on one thing. I mean, obviously, um, you know, the, the statement is you you are what your record tells you you are. <laughs> and, um, you know, we had uh, things where we had uh, some opportunities throughout the course of the season. Um, you know, injuries is one thing. Every season, every team has injuries, so it's not an excuse. But we really had a lot of injuries to a lot of key players and key positions that, um, you know, hurt us in terms of some continuity uh, aspect, um, you know, Overall depth in certain positions also was something that um, you, know, you always want to work on developing the depth and having that, but uh, you know, not having that uh, ability to have that absorb that hit, if you will, in in with injuries, um, it ties in with your depth and everything. So sometimes coaches have influence on who the next head coach for a school might be. Do you think that you will have any say in who takes over this football program? Um, you know, that, that's not my job. My job, uh, you know, is to, to run the program uh, the way I see uh, fit. Uh, I, I mean, I, I'll be in communication with my AD, Mr. Mike Burrow. Uh, that's their job to go through the, th- the search process. Obviously, if they ask me any input, I will definitely provide that. Um, but at the end of the day, I want to see uh, Norman football succeed. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what, the, what the future has in store for uh, Norman. Well, you're talking about uh, you want to see the program succeed. Obviously, this season was a tough one, but you had some really good campaigns during your time, both as a head coach and prior to that as an assistant. When you think back, what might be your fondest memory guiding Norwin? Um, yeah, that's a good question. The, uh, the number one thing that pops in my head is just the opportunity to coach and develop relationships with players, families, uh, and coaches along the way. I mean, that's why uh, anybody gets into coaching. I mean, you obviously want to – you know, win the championships, you want to do all that stuff. And that goes without saying, but I think, uh, you know, along the time, you know, along the way, you, the, the more you do it, the more you realize how important the relationships are. And because you put a ton of time in, I mean, football is, is a uh, year round commitment um, for players, coaches, families, everything. And so the number one thing I'd say would be the relationships and the, uh, the friendships that I've made along the way. And that's just kind of a neat thing. I think. 
I think you said it's a it's a year round thing when you're a coach or a player and, and you have been both during your time. So uh, I think we're going back uh, 30 plus years, maybe even more than that, that you were playing or coaching football pretty much nonstop. So what's it going to be like when you don't have that as part of your your daily routine? And how do you maybe try to fill that void? To answer your question, I don't know. I have not, I've never had that opportunity. So, um, you know, I, I'm not sure. It's like anything else. I think, you know, t- teaching and, and being in a school year, you know, you always see seniors come and go, right? And, and um, you know, a lot of times it doesn't hit those seniors, whether it be a, a player, a student, a family, until your, until your um, schedule changes, until it's like, okay, now I was supposed to be doing this. Now I'm not. Okay, that's where it starts hitting you. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. It's starting to hit me, you know, over the last you know day or two, a ton of emails and, and uh, text messages. Um, but in terms of what to fill the void, you know, I'm sure my wife has a lot of things for me to do at home. Um, you know, I, I still have, you know, very passionate about football. I hope to, you know, have uh, some interaction with, um, whether it be helping out in, with, with other schools or just helping out in terms of just kind of, you know, seeing whatever opportunities are out there. I find it very hard to be able to kind of walk away from football just in general. Um, so I don't know what the future is going to have. I'm not sure the opportunities I have with that, but I'm sure it's going to have uh, some, um, you know, connection to like, wow, it, last time I had no football involved was uh, I think eight years old, I guess. But if you go back to playing and then the high school and then college and then go right into coaching. So I think, you know, all those years are going to be hard to kind of just, you know, you know have, a, have a cut, clear cut from that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And lastly, obviously, you still teach there. And I know we're probably going to still see you at the uh, girls basketball games, uh, keeping the scorebook uh, when your brother's coaching. But uh, stepping away from the athletic side of it from Norwin, what's kind of the message that you have to that community in that school district? Thank you, first of all, um, because I think that's the number one thing that people don't realize is that uh, having the opportunity to coach is a privilege, whether it be a head coach, assistant coach or whatever. Uh, you're working with families, uh, the, the, the children of families, and, and especially in, in a very physical game like football, you know, that's a, that's a you know, very serious uh, uh, you know, undertaking that you, that you, uh, that you uh, are involved with. And so that being said, I thank all the families that I've had the opportunity to coach. Thank, to the, thank you to the coaches that have coached for me or coached with me um, throughout my tenure here as Norwin for 26 years and also one year at Derry. Um, and and ultimately, thank you to the players because um, you know again, they get they're the ones that you know have to put forth what you're saying as you're going through everything, and and uh, there's a ton, ton of uh, trust that you have to develop with your uh, players and players with coaches, vice versa, uh, to have success as you're going through everything. And and so that being said, um, I guess my response to your question would just be one of uh, sincere gratitude and thanks to the Norm community and families that I've had the opportunity to, to represent. Well, you thank them, and I think uh, we need to thank you here at Westmoreland Sports. Now, I've only done a couple of Norwin football broadcasts, but I know that we've been broadcasting Knights football for a long, long time. And for the current and previous broadcasters and for our owner, Dan Flickinger, as well, I know that they've all said that they've had an absolute pleasure working with you over the years. So thank you so much. Thank you. That's Dave Brzezeski, the former football coach for Norwin here on the Westmoreland Sports Network. 